But we begin with breaking news this new time. Just into our eyewitness newsroom, an accused killer enters a plea more than two years after being charged in the death of his live-in girlfriend. David Leet admits to stabbing Melissa Perry in their Woonsocket home in March of 2009. Let's get right out to eyewitness news reporter Sean Daly. He's live outside of Providence Superior Court with the latest. Sean? Yes, Patrick, a man accused of murdering his live-in girlfriend in Woonsocket in their apartment there two years ago today changed his plea here at Superior Court in Providence from not guilty to guilty. It was in March of 2009. On the third floor of a triple-decker in Woonsocket, the police found the body of 32-year-old Melissa Perry, a mother of two. The discovery came after 35-year-old David Leet crashed his car into a tree on Old Lewis Quisset Pike in Lincoln. The police who responded say red flags David Leet raised led them to search the third floor apartment that he shared with Melissa Perry. Today, just when jury selection was set to begin in David Leet's trial, he chose to avoid a trial and instead, in a plea deal, he chose to plead guilty to one count of second degree murder, not first degree murder. A prosecutor said he stabbed Melissa Perry a staggering 79 times. At one point, David Leeds stood before the court, spoke to the judge and to Melissa Perry's family, and in sort of a rambling statement there, he said the following, I'm sorry for what, I'm done. I'm, for what I've done. I'm sorry to Melissa's family. I'll never forget what I've done for the rest of my life. I was not brought up this way. I'm prepared to get ready for my punishment. Words cannot express how truly sorry I am. I truly love Melissa with all of my heart. Judge Susan McGurl then sentenced David Lee to the maximum allowed for second degree murder. That is life in prison, and he won't be eligible for parole for 20 years. Live at Superior Court in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.